Back again. Here's the rear shock without the spring. Now, next thing I'm going to do is clean the shock really well because I don't want any dirt going inside the shock when I take it apart. And on that note, it's also really important to clean the bike really well before I before you work on it. One thing I cannot stand is working on a dirty bike of any kind because that's just bad. Dirt gets everywhere. And I don't even use a power washer because I, I cannot tell you how many bikes I've seen where they use a power washer, it blows past the oil seals, especially into the swing arm bearings, and they rust out. You know, the old adage, out of sight, out of mind. So then I'm, I'm going to do that next. Oh, I think Maddie wants to say hello. Look, there, she's supervising. Maddie the super wonder dog. There she is. Another good shot of the dog. And then I'm going to proceed to take the shock apart after it's clean. First thing I want to do is in the reservoir right here. I'll, the Schrader valve, I'm going to unscrew that and bleed off all the nitrogen pressure because that's really important because what's happening on the inside there's a bladder inside of here that's charged with about 150 psi of nitrogen and the oil is all on this part right in here and what the nitrogen does it helps stabilize the damping because if you get any air in the shock during the bleeding process on the, upon assembly that helps minimize the foaming of the oil so it's really important that you because you want to be able to take it apart and then when I take the uh, now bleed the air or the nitrogen out I'm going to compress the end cap right here down a little bit because down about a quarter inch down inside there's a little round circular snap ring I gotta pry that out take the uh, reservoir the, oh, excuse me the bladder out of the reservoir then I can do the same on this end. Pop the little cap off, pop it off, compress the uh, seal head which is down inside and I'll show you that in a minute and then once again another o little circular snap ring, o-ring type, not o-ring, a snap ring, metal snap ring and then I can remove the uh, shaft out of the body and I'll show you what we got from there. Alright, here we go. Signing out again.